Hello everybody, this is The Week, and today we're going to talk about a very forgettable movie which is called Say It Isn't So. The only thing that was not forgettable about it was the terrible decision by some idiot to subtitle this movie in Swedish Skojar du eller? Which means you're joking, right? Which made this movie sound proper bad. But was it proper bad? It was sort of proper bad. Today we're gonna review the movie Say It Isn't So. Say it isn't so. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Heather Graham plays Josephine and she meets the man of her dream which is unfortunately Chris Klein play playing this Gilbert guy. Why that is a bad thing we'll get to in a second. But you know, forming a classic relationship, we're having montages and you know, things are going good for them. There is just one little problem for Gilbert. He doesn't know who his parents are and he has this you know, idiot detective who's trying to find out you know, his past and who he really is. But one day he does find out it's Sally Field who is his mother. Sally Field is unfortunately in this movie the mother of Heather Graham. So they're brothers and sisters. Ugh. So they break up and he goes into, oh my god, I banged my sister, that is so terrible. But he finds out a while later that uh, I made a mistake, I'm sorry. He has made mistakes since, you know, day one. You should get another private investigator, you numbnut. He finds out that he's not related in any way to Josephine. So now Gilbert has to try to win her back. But Sally Field does not want him to be, you know, the, the man that uh, her daughter goes out with. Especially now that she has, you know, found this rich guy that she's about to marry. Now a lot of misunderstanding happens because she still thinks that he thinks that uh, he is her brother. And, uh, you know, he tries to, you know, explain it, but he kind of comes up short every time. Is they gonna end up together? Uh, how much gross out humor will we stuff into this one? Will Richard Jenkins finally stand up to his asshole wife? And uh, we'll find out, I guess. Now, the Farley brothers did not direct this movie, but they were involved in it, and it was made in their sort of spirit. However, this movie really lacks the heart and soul, which usually, you know, were in their product at this time. I mean, Dumb and Dumber, there's something about Mary, Kingpin, me, myself, and Irene, they were really great. But in the gross out, you know, humor, they had a lot of heart and a lot of, of characters you could really, you know, sympathize with. This movie has none of those things. Now it's largely forgotten today. There was a time 20 years ago when Chris Klein was, if not a main star, a mid-card star, you could say. And he has one thing going for himself. No wait, he does not. He has you know, negative chemistry with most actors or actresses that he shared screens with. He had no comedic timing and he kind of sucked, actually. So that is a big problem. Heather Graham has to endure some of the worst lines she has, she has ever written. She has a lot of charm to her. She's very good, but this is one of the least good movies I've ever seen her in. Uh, Sally Fields and Richard Jenkins are always fun to see, but they don't have any good materials. This doesn't work as a romantic comedy. This doesn't work as a, you know, farce, you know, with hijinks and misunderstandings because it, the, the sequences that happen are so dumb and they're so <sighs> contrived. You're thinking, why don't you just do this, you fucking idiot? But he does everything so complicated and then you sort of go, oh God, because you could have made this into a funny movie. You could have made this into a really enjoyable, you know, comedy about misunderstandings. That could have really been really fun, but they chose not to do that. And it doesn't work as a gross out humor comedy at all. It fails on most occasions. I like the concept of the movie and it could have really worked, but the movie has a rather strong third act, which actually helps elevate this movie a little bit from complete failure to, I would say, a almost passable movie. If you like, you know, gross out humor and if you like these sort of, you know, American Pie, Dumb and Dumber sort of movies, 
why don't you check this one out and see if it, it works or not? It probably won't. Uh, I will say that uh, the movie isn't a total waste of time because I like the finish, I like the, the third act where the, most of the good humor actually is, resides. The movie has okay pacing but you're getting really really annoyed by how much contrived shit they're shoving into this thing. This is not a bad comedy, it's a lackluster comedy. A good ending cannot help that this is a mostly forgettable and boring comedy. I will give this movie 29 points. If this movie could have been directed by the Farley brothers and if they could have had a different leading man, I think we could have ended up with a pretty fun movie. But alas, we do not. So I'll see you next time from well, so-and-so reviewing well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.